Hi, this is Beth with All Real Light. Blessings, everyone. I have not made a video in quite a while uh, since our new world that we entered into. Uh, I live in a situation where I'm not exactly in the best energy place to be able to do something like this. And so every time I kind of get started on doing videos, I pull back and then don't do them for a while. But I keep getting a tap on the shoulder from my guides to pick this back up. Um, this is not a comfortable thing for me, being in front of the camera. I don't feel like I'm in my comfort zone. I have tried to do this different ways. I've used oracle cards, I've pulled out my tarot cards, and read them intuitively because I'm a medium. And I realize I always end up feeling so awkward with the cards because that's not how I read for people. When I read for people, um, I listen to the guides and I listen to their angels and I listen to their guides and I listen to the people who are on the other side who want to come through and I get pictures and I feel things and I hear things and I see things and that's how a reading with me is like. Um, there's so many talented tarot readers and intuitives on YouTube and in some ways I'm like, why am I even trying to do this? But like I said, I keep getting the tap on the shoulder. So I'm going to try something a little different. Um, maybe doing these at night when my environment's a little more calmed down might work, might not. You might not, I might not even post this and then it might be months again before I do another one. But I'm gonna do this like I do for a reading. And so the topic that I wanna cover right now is the upcoming month ahead around um, uh, Miss C-19, um, who has come to teach us uh, a great message. And I kept getting a message early on in this that this was intended to teach us to slow down, to purge, to still and to learn the lesson of self-care and going within and reconnecting with our families and that it was a, a way of showing us almost like a preview of how things could be um, if we were living in a, a society or a structure of our society where we weren't spending all of our time overwhelmed working outside of our, our houses, right? To where we could have more balance with how we could be creative and our spirituality and our health. But that requires kind of a restructuring of our whole society and I don't think we're there yet. And of course, over the last couple of months, I have been shown the image of, of us kind of being like um, toddlers, <laughs> not wanting to listen to the message. Um, and I kept seeing the image of the calendar getting pushed back like instead of it taking six months oh we're into nine oh we're into a year oh and now uh I'm definitely seeing this going on much longer than it needed to be if we had learned the lesson of kind of uniting together as a, a a cohesive force with a cohesive message of addressing things um so it's going to go on longer for sure, but I just want to look at the month ahead. I'm just going to relay some of the pictures I'm getting. Um, I happen to be in one of the states, uh, Texas, that is getting really hit right now. So I'm going to start off with what I might see in Texas um, in the next month. And, oh boy, I'm seeing a conveyor belt sp uh, speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. And um, it's getting faster and faster. And I, I'm reminded of that uh, Lucille, <laughs> I Love Lucy episode where they're on the conveyor belt with the candy. And at first she's managing it and they're managing it very well. But then she's having to, you know, it's going so fast. She's putting it in her shirt and she's putting it in her mouth trying to keep up. And unfortunately that's what I'm seeing happen. Um, Spirit's also giving me images of fires breaking out. And... Um, Flaming fires breaking out. I'm taking that as outbreaks, of course. Um, honestly, in Texas, I think we're going to get very, a lot of death next month. 
Um, I'm seeing this going, the worst part of this going July into August. And I'm seeing a humbling happening here. Like there's a humbling of, um, we thought we, and I'm saying we in more collective sense. I know many people have taken this seriously, but I'm getting the feeling that there was an overall energy of, um, this isn't going to affect us like it will other places. And there's going to be a humbling. I'm getting a humbling from this. Now the fires seem, obviously the cities, I mean, I, I get it like the cities. But then I'm also seeing, I think this is going into, a little bit into August, where a, I'm seeing like a water coming down. I hope I'm not picking up on a hurricane. <laughs> Honestly, I hope I'm not picking up on a hurricane. Um, dowsing of it. So they, we might just, we might see a die down start to happen in some areas in Texas. Mm, I feel like this is going more into August. I thought I was only going to be doing July here, but, and hopefully I'm not really picking up on a, hur a hurricane because we will be coming on hurricane season. Um, I feel some areas will start to douse down into August. So now let me go over to Florida. I want to look at Florida for July. Ah, so Florida, of course, I'm getting water images. Um, not a good feeling. I'm actually seeing like wave. So I'm getting Florida getting waves coming in and the waves are getting bigger. I don't feel like the, the wave has peaked. I don't think Florida's peaked on this latest outbreak in fact i'm seeing the wave one wave coming in and then another wave coming each wave i'm seeing is coming in um higher so i think that's florida july mm, certain parts of the state not as much maybe i'm maybe i'm getting the more rural areas of florida but i'm definitely getting wave the waves so florida's gonna it's not gonna be pretty for florida either i think ouch um, so let me, I'm going to look at Arizona. I've got family in Arizona. Mm. And so the guides are showing me Arizona. So obviously we're talking about not as many cities, right? Um, boy, Maricopa County continues to, so Florida is going to see an ugly July also. It really feels, um, centered in Maricopa County, probably some in Tucson, but man, I'm getting Phoenix is going to get really slammed, I think, even more. Um, wow, this is not exactly a pleasant reading. I'm not sure I'm even going to post this. We'll see. So now I just want to look, I'm going to pull back and look at just kind of like the U.S. map for a moment and see what the guides are showing me with our, what we can expect for continued outbreak um, so uh, California rising back but I feel like California is maybe going to get a grip on this a little bit quicker like I, I feel like it's going to pull they're going to be able to pull California back a little bit better even though I know they're they're having some increase in some places it almost feels like the I see like a a t they're going to tie it back up again. They're going to tie it back up again. Oh boy. Let me go forward a little bit. Let me look at the map some more. This is interesting. I'm wondering if one of the, um, Montana or Wyoming or one of those states that I don't think has been hit as bad, just probably because the population is going to have, um, some outbreaks that they uh, are surprised about. Like, mm, there's going to be some, I don't know if it's Montana, Wyoming, I don't know, something up there as I look at the map. I keep hearing Montana, I think. Um, mm, New York is, I feel, going to, as they, I guess, I think they're, gonna, they're starting to open up more. So I feel like New York may start to see little fires pop up okay but they're not it's not going to be like it was at least this 
round of it because as I go a little bit further into the year, look, we're going to get a, once the first wave really does get to die down, <laughs> there will be a second wave. And I'm thinking October, October, November into the new year. Now, all of this is going to be dependent on how we manage this collectively. We have to listen. <laughs> if we don't listen, the lesson continues. I'm reminded of that saying, the lesson is presented in as many forms as need to until the lesson is learned. And that's what I feel like we're getting. We're meant to learn to work together. We're, lent, we're meant to learn to be cohesive. We're meant to look at our structures that aren't working and begin to shift them. Um, so I don't know, this is just a little intuitive reading. We'll see if I post this. I still haven't decided. I guess I'm gonna watch it first. And I think I'm gonna try to maybe do an, a second reading here in just a minute. Blessings, bye.